people, welcome to United View and welcome to another Flex and KG show. All right, all right. No, it's not all right. It's not, it's not all right. It's not no, all right. it's not Sorry, all right. I can't sing that right. when it's not all right. But it's let's not go into right. it. I've got so much to discuss today. There's a lot to talk about because we're mm. in a bad moment, man. I'm really mm. nervous about top four. But there's talks about preferred, preferred beaters mm. in the race to acquire Shake. Manchester United. Now it's looking like Sheikh Jassim mm. and Sir Jim Ratcliffe, in which we know are the two front runners. Now, Beaters. what that means is there has been a report today. This is actually real now. There has been a report today. Yeah. <laughs> there actually has. Um, it's I'm been a report. Excited. Yeah, exactly. There's been a report today in the Daily Express. Okay. okay. And they are Repetible. claiming. Is it rep- feel kind of reputable? It feels. Let's see what carry I on. wouldn't do the today. Carry today, today I feel reputable. I wouldn't yeah. really. Okay, it's cool. it's kind of. Right, it's kind of okay. Man United takeover. Qatari tipped as Glazers' preferred bidder with deal timeline on track, um, and this comes after an exclusive interview, okay, with financial analyst Dr. Dan Plumley. Now, Dan Plumley from where? This is so. This is an opinion piece. He's just an, he's just a financial analyst who's done an interview, an exclusive interview with the Express, okay, and really he's given his opinion. It's not. I've got. It's not. Now, what I'm being told is mm. it's not it's not sources. It's it's his it's his opinion, given that he's a financial analyst, and this is what he says. He says, um, let me find it. There you go. Um, if the price um, if the price is five to six billion uh, that the Glazers are wanting, or at least are willing to sell at for a full takeover, let's say uh, my gut feeling on it. So it's like, well, we my got gut big feelings. man, we got gut feelings. Mm. Really, my gut feeling on it, um, and you know you're always speculating slightly. That's a lot of, you're gut not feeling really that credible, you're not really. No, gut feeling yeah. is speculation. Yeah, exactly, that, that's kind of negative, that's like not factual then it means. Yeah, it's gut feeling. It's just a feeling. It's not me, but right? I just, But I just think the Qatar bid is probably slightly preferred at the minute because it's a full takeover. Also, through uh, the connections of that owner, you know that you could get access to funds further down the line to build the club because you've got to look at infrastructure, you've got to look at squad development, etc., etc. It's not just the takeover price, it's all the other stuff that comes with it. So it does feel like that's the one that has the most clout. Now, listen, when we talk about the takeover bid, it becomes, you know, I know Gary Neville was under a lot of pressure they're talking about him bringing up the Glazers after the loss. <laughs> Gary Neville done a madness. He done it, it was yeah, a madness, yeah, yeah. yeah. But while he, while he does say things like that, you know, um, just looking at the squad and the situation we find ourselves in, you know, um, you wonder, could Yao Felix have changed things for us in, if, if, in January when we needed to go into the market? Because yeah. we didn't have a striker. Of course he can, Could he change, yeah, he you know, so, you know, there's, there's, I get why well, it's a silly argument because now it's not about the Yao Felix as no. well. The, the players have to show up and the players haven't been showing up, right? But the situation is, um, I did a show yesterday and people were talking about the bottle jobs are still here. Some of the some of the guys from the, 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 the old terrible, regime. the old regime, the guys that have known losing and losing for a long time, they're still here. And I don't think their man- mentalities are ones of, they can get through the, the storm. So now, that, that need for um, negotiation, the need for new players to fresh blood. Like, as you said, when you were talking yesterday, on, um, you talked about Arteta tearing things up and now he's got a squad of the old players are not really there. It's only three men. Only three men, you know, and even when we was doing our thing today, mm. there was only like two men that stayed in. you in, got to get a new was, regime. You have to get the new regime. You have to get, and the only way a new regime, and think the long way around to saying this, the only way this is going to happen is with strong investment. So it's like, I like the thought of, again, I, I've made myself very clear in this, we need Qatar. That of all bids, we need Qatar. Sheikh Jassim is gonna be what the team needs in terms of not only just fixing the stadium, but like, he's gonna invest into the squad straight away. We've already got a guy that says, I'll do the job, but it's gonna take me three years to buy the Glazers out. Mm. Well, three years to buy the Glazers out, you still got a, um, you haven't the finance deal that you're taking out for this club. I don't know, I don't really understand it, to be honest. So how much money do you have on personnel? Like right now, do you know what's scary? We should be buying players. Right now, yeah, conversa- we should be getting ready, conversations. Yeah. yeah, we can't. 
should be running yeah. and they're not running. But um, again, they say the timeline's good. That was a part. Yeah, he's saying he's saying he thinks that he thinks that the timeline is is, a, is still about right. Um, he said also, um, there you go. I think it's always been the markup with this one before the summer window to do this. You have to look at um, you have to look at that in context of the November deadline in the first existent. Blumley ex- explained, it's not unusual for these things to go that long. And actually, you probably will argue when you've got five to six billion takeover in place that it does need to take time. You should be doing the full background checks all the way around. Um, that's the kind of time element uh, to it. Um, it might feel that it's dragged on from a fan's point of view, but it's always likely to play out that way. It all seemed to be pointing towards a deal being done before the start of the next window, so that new owners could potentially, um, uh, to get new owners potentially, or investors could have uh, plans in place for the summer window. I think we're still on that timeline. I know it probably feels like we've been talking about it forever, but it seems uh, to be that we're moving towards that time scale. Look, t- to be honest, yeah, it's... I, I feel like the Qatar thing's like gone a little bit quiet. Like I feel like I, I do, and I'm not saying it's completely gone. But the Sir Jim Ratcliffe thing with the Glazers able to stay, and then they can stay an extra couple of years, and then they can he can buy them out so they can sell for more. That just seems to me like something the Glazers will will go for. I know you could argue that, but they can get all the money now, and but but it's not the money that they want. That's not that you got to remember. I know I know Saint Jassim and the Qatar side of it. Um, on, in reports have refuted that to say, no, that our bid is a world record bid, etc. We don't know what you lot are talking about. But the other reports are suggesting that the Glazers favour Sir Jim Ratcliffe's situation because he actually values the club more in terms of what they get for the percentage that they have to give away. So because mm-hmm. Altani want, uh, Qatari want all of it, but they're only giving the five point something, mm-hmm. but Sir Jim Ratcliffe only wants only just about the majority, but, still, but he's still giving like four. They're like, "Raw, we might as well take that then, and then keep onto our shares, and we can sell that in two, three years. That's fine. We can do that." Club. So no, but that's is, that's um, was it placated or determined on the club's success? So that's determined on how well, well the club does. You say that. You say that. Actually, there was another report today that literally um, goes against that, and that's for both sides. Um, and that and this is from. Um, now, this is from Dan Sheldon from The Athletic. He said that takeover bids for Man United made by Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Sheikh Jassim are not contingent on where they finish in the Premier League this season, i.e. they're not going to give more because they do better, you know, and they're not going to give less because we're not in the Champions Brilliant. League. But now, so just, and the point I was making is the Glazers' point, because while these guys, these guys want to buy the club, and that's clear, in, in fourth or wherever, in whatever position they want to buy Man United. Now, I'm talking about the Glazers. The Glazers now are looking and saying, whoa, well, Ten Hag's here and there's chance of Champions League football and we could. this club could be probably still be on up. You know, before, it, they, I don't think when the season started, they thought, we, this is the situation we're going to find ourselves in. But uh, magically, we've arrived at this place where we look like a top four. We're potentially, it's, well, it's nuts. But at the moment, you could say we're a top four it's on, side. It's on, yeah. At the moment, it's on, right? Champions League, which means a lot more money. Even though Pep was doing a madness. It helps. Said, it helps. Champions League helps. is a big boost for any club, you know? So they're thinking, well, look, if this team is always qualifying for top four, yeah, us staying here is fine. But however, they, everything changes. They're now looking at this team saying, we because even if they haven't put in their own money, this team spent a lot of money mm. on players, and they haven't. When I talk, they've taken dividends, but they haven't seen dividends on the pitch in terms of no, performance. No, I'm saying, but the players. So just imagine if you're if you're an investor and you talk to your investors, say, hey guys, I'm going to spend 100 million on this guy. I'm going to buy 90 million on this guy. I'm going to. I expect to win. When I start to put money down like that, I'm thinking, well, we had the highest wages. With a, we 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 what the most expensive team assembled in a sense you could say, well why don't we win? That's the that's what they've probably been asking themselves for a long time. So then, do you now cut and run because when is it going to get better? It's not like our rivals are going to stay still. They're going to continue to get better. So the only way you're really going to be in this thing, you have to one care about the club is got to be the is the is the main thing. You got to have a passion for it. And then you've got to say, I've got to pump money into it. These are all things that Glazers don't really want to do. So then when you now... But they don't have to with Sir Jim Ratcliffe. That's exactly what they don't have to do. Yeah, literally, no, they'll be seen, men, no, minority li- owners. Yeah, but, they'll be minority yeah, owners. But that's what I'm saying. But they don't have to... The, literally, they are... But dead. then you have to trust no, that the club's going to be worth more in three but years. But they're literally, they're literally passing the buck to mm-hmm. somebody who can go front of house 
where they and passing over control or the decisions, mm -hmm. all of it, it's on you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to kick back and just take, and take my the team minority and, piece. And, and take the minority piece. So. And that's that, going to get me to five billion. Well, well, it can because the first bit they're going to the first bit they're selling is like four point something, four billion, whatever Sir Jirak is doing. Then they hold on to the shares that are worth another couple of billion. So when they sell that in two or three years, he has to come back to the table. Don't get twisted. He has to come back after the first initial purchase to get majority control. Mm -hmm. So Jim Ratcliffe has to come back to the table going, right, so about this little like 30% that you've got, because I want like total buyout now. What are you lot saying? But then, then guess what? There'll probably be another bidding process for then, that. No, but check this out. No, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't need but to do, be. Do you know what I mean? It's in house. But, but what I'm it's saying it. is they, they sell, they can sell them shares who they want to sell it to for whatever price they deem the right price. The same way how they're trying to sell the club for whatever price they think. Like if you own shares, that's your shares. They, yeah. they can sell it for what they want. Yeah. So it's the same thing. So what they, they actually get to do what you're saying. They get to put someone else in the front and Absolutely. say, right, we can cash in again. No, but then now the share price, and because their they're shares right now, they're not they're like what they switched to like A class or B class shares. Mm -hmm. I'm not like totally a financial yeah, they expert. They won't get B class shares They anymore, won't get the same type of shares. Same, so then now the, va the, that ma the, the value that of their shares is going to be what the club is worth on the stock, like on mm -hmm. the US stock exchange, right? And that goes up and down. That's the thing. So now like when they feel like the deal's happening, that went up and it was incredible. And everyone was like, put their money in because you think you're going to get if the club is not in a good way because silly things have happened, because finance, because to compete at the top level, we actually need money. Yeah. You're now looking at all these teams that we're going against. All these other teams will get better. Liverpool already, we're talking about next season, Liverpool getting better now. Yes. You know what I mean? Arsenal have improved. Um, Chelsea will be better next season. Like, um, who else? Man, Man City, will con Man City are like, trying to do the treble right now, the and they're interested in Newcastle. Benham. Newcastle. So you're talking about there's a bag of teams, and let's not forget about Brighton in terms of just being a problem in the in in the league, right? So Man United, for us to stay involved, we actually have to finance, and you can still we can lose our space in terms of where we are in terms of competing, and just on stadia alone is an issue. There's so many issues yeah, at Man United there's a lot. that the Glazers. I still believe I'm still on, on of the belief that the Glazers will say, listen. It's time. And let's not forget, because I was talking to, me and Owen were having a conversation about this, but there's still potential business they can do in Qatar, the Glazers. Mm, yeah, after that, they can, yeah, exactly. still, like, These guys are, you heard, um, not to get political, but even our pr the Prime Minister was like, we have a great relationship with these mm. guys. So now, you can see that these relationships are valuable, so you might take the, you might take the L, or the short, uh, the, the short in terms of the money up front in this moment, but you could go crazy and build mm. your hotels, they might allow you to do more. And that's the, and that's the, and that is the pros of the, of the Glazers taking it, 100%, like, you know, oh, we got these hotels in America we want to build up. Want to come and join? Want to, so I mean, oh, we yeah. want to we want to build come some build hotels and in get Doha. involved in this, that and the other in, in Doha. Like, oh, yeah. what, what are we saying here? We got other businesses, other ventures, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Hundred, so basically, it's, it's, within the Glazers, it's within the Glazers' best interest to have that yeah. positive relationship. And, and they flew in, and they flew yeah, in, Yeah, exactly. So the, 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 look, it's obviously talks. We know that Qatar's there, we know the bridge real, it's not fake. It's, it's really, it really is there. Mm -hmm. um, but the truth is, we. We, we don't know, innit? We just don't know. I mean, this guy, basically, to cut a long story short and to move on from that, that's that guy's opinion, yeah. really. It wasn't sources. It wasn't he's been told. He's, it, he's, he's a financial expert, so he's mm -hmm. got a good idea of, of basically the process of how this works and the timeline. Yeah, fans shouldn't be too concerned, actually, with assets this big and money that needs to be moved around and due diligence that needs to be done. That's probably about right. Mm -hmm. I'll take your opinion on that. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, he's saying he, f he thinks that it's, it would probably be Qatari because, okay, uh, it's, it's an educated kind of guess because you're kind of well informed in how these things work. Mm -hmm. But essentially, it's not sources. It's not mm -hmm. uh, what I'm being told is and, and yeah. stuff like that. So you have to take that with a pinch of salt. Another thing talking about Qatari in this package, Neymar. I wish they could zoom in right now, but I'm doing the zoom. Yeah, yeah, you're doing the zoom face. You talk, what are you saying to me? Julien Laurent, who is a very good French uh, source Big of up information. I'm Gab Marcotti. Yeah, they got the good, they got the yeah, wicked they got um, the relationship. Um, relationship and that. Exactly, ESPN, BT Sport, he's on everything. Yeah, yeah Julien Laurent. He says Neymar is ready to leave PSG this summer. He has changed his mind in recent weeks. He would prefer a move to the Premier League. Damn. So. <laughs> 
the question is, and you look at his links with Qatar as well, you know, mm -hmm. ambassador, all that kind of thing. Um, are you right. are you seeing that though? It's are you so having right. that? You know what the killer is, because it seems like it's imploding at PSG. Yes, there's reports that I mean, Messi's dad has come out and squashed rumours about going Saudi, but Ronaldo sat in there, he said he's not going Saudi, I want anyway, to be in Europe at the top. And Barcelona are considering bringing him back. Do you know what I mean? Messi I, I, is not going to be a um, PSG, PSG player. player. Absolutely not. So they could house. be dismantling that whole yeah. like, so, situation. But what's going on? I, I just want to know the tone of Mbappe, because what will piss me off is if, you know when you go into a deal and you think you're winning, and then Mbappe just goes to somewhere where... Well, we could have got him, guys. You know when that yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, it's yeah. like, but yeah. we could have got the other one. You know, so like if you if you ask me, um, would I take one of the two? You well, know, what well, I mean, here's the thing: PSG would be accommodating on the structure of the deal with a loan included an option to buy any permanent um, uh, make that option to make any permanent um, on the table. It would help move the player on. So loan with option to buy including an option to make any move permanent on the table. So, so it's not guaranteed, it's not their no, organisation. No, obligation to buy. Oh, so because you yeah, know we yeah. get scammed like that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. We just give the loan and there's so not... So PSG would be accommodating on the, stru on, a st on the structure of the deal with a loan, including an option to make any move permanent on no, the table if it would help move it. the player on. Basically, if it would help get him out the door, we'd have to commit to a loan, but then you have to sign him. No, do you know why? I, was, I just thought, sat down and thought about it for the last two, three minutes just now. You mentioned it, right? If Man United are trying to restructure the club in terms of salary, this is the wildest salary to bring in. Mm. If you're talking about players on different things and an expectation, you know, they're, they're making a big deal with De Gea, which is necessary. But I said, De Gea, you can't get paid that level of money. If we bring in a player of Neymar's ilk, and Neymar went there for not, he didn't go there for cheap. Like, yeah, you went like 200 odd million. Something yeah. is the craziest record. It was, it, they didn't think anyone was going to break that yeah. and like do, play, pay that money, but they managed to, right? I'm going to say um, it's a no for me. I get a name on loan. It feels like why would, you turn, why would you turn your nose up at that? Yeah, but then I think Man United need to change the, the, the attitude or the certain types of the types of player that we bring in and a player that's going coming in there that will say, listen, I want four, what, how much do you reckon he's going to ask for a week? Plus four? More than four? Yes, it's got to be, be 450, isn't it? 450, Five, that's yeah. a lot of money. It's got, it's got to be, his name that's is a superstar. Lot. And that's the problem, that word there, superstar. Yeah. Unfortunately for us right now, and you could, you could even say fortunately, because some people may go, don't want yeah. him anywhere near this club. A lot Bear of people probably would. Do you know what I mean? We, we, we are not in a position to have any superstars. We're not, we're not, mm. we're not. Ten Hag, I don't think, is the type of manager that wants superstars. Remember when we were speaking about the Mbappe situation? Mm -hmm. I imagine having him and I went, I don't even think Ten Hag is That's different, no, that's different. No, that's the, that's no it is world, different. That's yeah. world class. No, that's, Neymar's that's world class. That's different. Neymar's world class. Yeah, that's Let's different. not act like Let's, Neymar's not world class. That guy almost helped them win the World Cup. Yeah, yeah, of course. Listen, Mbappe, I'm saying he's unbelievable. Yeah, right? Of course. But I'm just take, saying, accept it. in terms of this moment, bringing in a superstar, someone who comes with that level of like package, that big superstardom, I, I don't think it's, it's the right move. And then if you just flip it, instead of talking about between Neymar and Mbappe, the difference, let's just focus on Neymar. Mm -hmm. No. No, you know I, don't, well. I don't think he's the guy with this type of project where you need people to, to really work hard and buy into this and everyone kind of be at a level playing field yeah. to, to assert themselves. Yeah. We can't, have, we can't have a superstar who supersedes everyone in terms of reputation and name. Nine goals we can't. as well. He doesn't even score enough. No, For me, he's not scoring yeah. enough. Yeah, listen, do I think Neymar can come to the Premier League though? And kill it, absolutely. Newcastle, be brilliant. Newcastle, Chelsea, if they go on a, you know what I mean? He could do it, he could Sterling's do it. Sterling's there. I'm not saying that Sterling's yeah, yeah, not on Chelsea. Level. This is Chelsea though. I'm they saying just that he's just, again, bro, it's yeah. Neymar bro, he can go there. No, he can go anywhere he's, he wants. Yeah, he, he can go, go anywhere he wants, but you just got to think of, actually Chelsea seems like a That's smart. what I'm saying. That's but the, the, the Newcastle big names. feel like the greatest fit. Yeah, could, could they, could they like pull it off? But a couple of years Neymar in this league, listen, it'll be exciting. I just don't want him. I, I've learned from the Ronaldo thing. I've learned from the Pogba thing. Like, I don't want no superstar guys. I, like you said, you can get 10 Matomas for that. And I'm not saying every player has to be a Matoma, but in terms of that type of value, unearthing the gem, someone who's going to help the team play better. And of course, he's got great quality. So in that sense, he's going to help the team play better. But I, d I don't see... Do, if I was to say to you, what do you think Neymar's like 
attitude towards like spearheading Man United back to the top. Yeah, I, don't got I just don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. Even when I think he's carrying Brazil, I, exactly, and I think it'll be detrimental to the group. Yeah, I really do. Um, so for me, no. But again. With him being available, it'd be interesting to see what happens. I, I can't see I can't see him coming in. Let us know what you lot. It'd guys be an easy think. deal for Man United to do, but it'll be it'll be it'll be, the wrong it'll deal. be That'll it'll feel be the like wrong old deal. school. That'll feel like we're just exactly. trying to sell shirts. And another thing to talk about as well is is the money. Because we've been told, bro, like we've got like a hundred million in the kitty plus mm-hmm. player sales. So we, but have, we can make a, quite a bit for this player sales. That's yeah, I'm, I'm maybe we can get relaxed. to two twenty. Maybe you can sell like hundred and twenty worth of players or something yeah. like that. But whilst we don't know what's going on with the the, the the sale as well, we don't even know how much money we got to spend. Yeah. We can't be trying to the same way how we can't go for Deccan Rice because that's not a priority. I don't want him though. For yeah, that I price. know. Of, of course, that's, no, that's what we said. That that's what I'm saying. Out we can't. Of order. It's, it's, yeah, but that's that's. Or Jack Grealish cost from Villa, like because that's the, that's that the price they're putting on the head. Declan Rice, that's for the price they're putting on the head. Something million, yeah, is he's that not worth that. Is but that he's worth order? that to West Ham, and that's what they say he's worth. Yeah, that's fine. But uh, and someone's uh, going to pay it, and maybe Arsenal might do it. You never know. Because Arsenal, I had Arsenal that, pay that. Yeah, yeah. He, and he suits there. Hundred. He's got a great personality. He's got a great personality. He's got a great personality. But not for not for a hundred. Like unless we can't. No, we can't afford to. If we could afford to do, I wouldn't give a shit. Would you do it? Of course I would. If, really? if we could afford to do that, say out, say uh, Qatar came in and we could afford all of a sudden we could oh. afford Kane, we no, could but, afford the uh, Declan yeah, Rice, we could, could, then I would because he will make our team instantly better. He just ran through our midfield and got man of the match with, 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 with a cigar in his hand. He just did it. Like he gets a lot of stick because obviously he's English and like you know what I mean he's not worth this and that. But, like that's he's worth that because West Ham are saying he's worth that. That's what he means to them. If they, they're going to stay up because of him and they could potentially win the, the Conference League with mm-hmm. him in it. He got them, helped get them into Europe last year where they nearly won the Europa League. So, like, they... He's got, the, a, good, he's got a good person that he... The, the key is, when you talk about profile player, right, and the, when you talk about attributes, there's some cool things about him. They can say, you know what? You're he a good little battler. You're a good little battler. But then my thing is... I just want to be cuter in the transfer exactly. market. Exactly. I want to be like because we have to spend the peas on. Hold on a second, yeah. just two seconds. A uh, little bit of news out from Simon Jones from Daily Mail. This is a little bit more transfer news coming to coming out of the Neymar thing, but it's kind of on the same tip. Napoli are, are insisting publicly that Victor Osman is not for sale. He ain't for sale. Forget it. We're not yes. selling him. Um, but the general consensus, at least between Man United and Chelsea, is that he is for sale for around 130 million. Again, super Euro. big peas. Uh, pounds. Big piece. Big, big piece. We ain't getting Osman. We ain't getting Osman. Chelsea could do it. Todd Bowley. Of course they could. Todd Bowley could. could. We're not getting Osman. But where's not Cuckoo and then all these guys going? Oh, Chelsea, well, unless it? Lukaku has to make that deal permanent. He has to go. No, he's coming back, but he won't stay. Like. Right, then he's, he'll end up at U3, wherever, end up where he wherever. is. Yeah, he's got to go. Yeah, so then they'll bring in... Because I'm trying to work how they're going to make... Bamiang's going to go... ZH is gonna, bro. They got to trim their squad, but they still so they'll need sell to. and they'll. Jao Felix they, might they not could be, be able to sell and buy. It. They'll be able. To, they they're in a position they could they could be able to yeah. sell and Loftus still cheek. buy that. They got bare man they can shot. Mason game, Mount. You know? Exactly. So their Chelsea's a real yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. As for the like, has got to go. Feels like a Chelsea player though, isn't it? Who? You know, Osman. Awesome Chelsea oh, just get that. Yeah, exactly. Kid nine true. Yeah. yeah, fam. So you know, we we I don't think we can afford that, and that's the thing. The Kane situation. Give we me. have to get him. Give me Kane. But, but here's the thing, and this, brings, and this, and this brings us into the present day. M's. This brings us into the present day. Yeah. Don't even pick up this phone if you don't get top four and try and ring his phone. No, call him. No, call him. No, because if you're Kane, no, call him. if you're Kane and Man United don't are in the Europa League I'm selling with projects. Spurs. I'm sending the project, no, bro. No, no. For, no we, forget project. You, for, not, you can't bro, win there. Bro, forget project. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's have it. Here's from Kane. He might go, bro. I could just run my contract down. I'll go free. I could, I could go free then this where? year, 12 more. Where go? Wherever I want. All right, I'm free. Where? I'm free. I'm okay. Whoever. Just imagine. This is whoever. All right, cool. I'm just pretend I'm calling mm. you. Right, you're right, Kane. Yeah. Right, Harry? Yeah. Um basically, um United. Yeah, we're yeah. here. <laughs> Come on, you know. You know what the season's all about. It's a classic show. You man Champions League, yeah? We uh, play, no, we're playing, we're playing Real Madrid in that way. No, what are we doing? What are we doing? We need your 20 goals, mate. We could do a madness. So I think I think yeah, because you already know cup run, we we got close. You we had you we have you in that team. Close to what? We're what you mean close to Premier League? Winning got winning cups. You want to win, don't you? 
Don't you want to win? You, you must be tired of the golden boot. Come on, yeah, but next year the same. I'm gonna have the same thing. I can just pick, take a pick then. At Spurs, yeah. Come on, man. No, I won't win anything at Spurs that one year. Yeah, but that's you, what I'm you're going to so, do the Carabao Cup thing and that. You're no, not but I'm saying with I want to compete for the Champions away. League and Premier League. And absolutely. Otherwise, otherwise I may as well stay at and Spurs. And I think you're the difference. Otherwise, I may as well stay at Spurs for one more no, year. I think and, and break the and break and break all the records because I'll surpass Al- Alishira, Then I'll move on a free you know and I'll get mad piece as well. Do you know well. you're talking to? I'll get mad piece. Do you know you're talking to? You're talking. You're talking to Ten Hag. Yeah. Have you seen what I did to Wan Bissaka? Inverted. Yeah. <laughs> I say, Malaysia. Yeah, inverted. He, he inverted you back. Yeah. He inverted you to stay in the Conference League. Uh, no, nah, trust league. me. The, again, I've got rid of some of these bottle jobs. It's different. And that's another thing. You're, you're ringing up the phone trying to get me yeah. with your Europa League status. Speak to you later. What kind of? Yeah, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> what what kind of man? What kind of man you think you're getting? Like who you adding as well with me? Like yeah, how, how, how are you going to get? How are you going to get? This is what I got. I got Bruno Casemiro. Bro, was playing with Wed Course, and I, I, I did a madness. You have to understand. I had Martial. Listen, I had a broken. I don't have a striker, and look what we achieved. So I'm telling you, come to this club, give me those twenty goals, yeah, and I'm gonna. I guarantee you, we'll play for you. You're gonna get service. Like never before. I get service if at Spurs. I'll score 30 a year, mate. Yeah, and and all of that happens. I'll score 30 a year. It, do that in our team. That's what we're missing. You're in we're the missing Europa. Those goals. You're in we're the missing, Europa. And how close? I'm are in the Europa mate? with Spurs. No, mate, you're New manager coming in. I may as well just see it out. I may as well see it out and take the and pick of the And go where, big man? I choose after. I want but you're gonna, then it's not going to be, you're not going to be sport for choice. Where are you getting? Liverpool, you ain't getting that. So you think Kane's still going to want to all come right, to so, London? Right, so wait, let, let's, let's play the game of where could he go. Bayern Munich mm. are going to go young, yeah? Mm. They're going to go for the um, like the same Wani and all these other players. So Bayern Munich, that might be, not be on the table and you want to break the goal record. Yeah. You want to break the goal record, so yeah, you want to stay in the Premier league. league, yeah? So now let's look at, let's Chelsea go Chelsea are going to get someone. Yeah? Chelsea are going to get someone. They're not in someone. nothing. No they're not. And yeah. Ch- Spurs, yeah, to Chelsea, he it's a mad yeah, move. His house will get moved. You to. can't do that. So yeah. let's take Chelsea off the table. Uh, Arsenal, you have to, to be kidding to. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't go City. Now, City, Haaland's there. Robot. Go on. Newcastle. Newcastle. I hear it. You want to be Alan Shearer? Do you, you want to be Alan? You could actually be him. You want to be, if you want to be Alan Shearer, that's With the, the piece. What, Newcastle never going to win right, anything? See, no, I'm saying Newcastle, but then there's no reason not to come to us. If they, between Newcastle and us, they're in the Champions League. Us, yeah, but I'm saying... Now, gonna they're in the now. Champions League now. Big man, and I say, hey, it's Shaq. It's Shaq. Yeah, he plays off the left, wicked. It's Callum Wilson, see? I think. Oh, Callum's going to get sick. Of course, that's, 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 that will happen. That's their natural evolution, if they can yeah, get Kane. Yeah. He sat left, Kane up front. Newcastle's a real contender. Newcastle's the one. Especially if they're in the Champions League and we're not. But I say, big man. It's still all trap. It's still... It's like the Lakers. It's like the, it's that ki- it's that it's that ki- it's, you know what I mean. It's still it's, it's still it's still like Lakers weren't Doesn't getting into the thingy. Pool. No, I'm telling bro, it's still a special. You elite. see the you see the what do you call it? The purple and gold, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You see the red of Man United, yeah. yeah. It's still. Don't tell me that this club doesn't have pool. This club was able no, to bring in Zlatan no. and all these other players because yeah. of the pool, bro. So this club is still it's still Man United. Nah, nah, I do it's agree. still this. Yeah, I do. It's no, still no, this. If I you, do. I do. If you're I do agree player, with you. You can, so there's right now, when we broke out all the clubs he can play for, it's us in Newcastle. So you can go the Alan Shearer route and you say, well, Shearer is an all time legend. It's a bit more than the Alan Shearer route because it's the money that it's yeah. a real project. It's know, not, it's a serious stop project. saying it's like, no, you can go the Alan Shearer route and just like, you know what I mean, it. not win anything, but you can score goals. You could, you're going to Spurs it again. I'm saying, bro, come here, fam. This is a sleeping giant. They've really done better than Spurs the in one year. Like you can help us win the league. And, bro. and you sell who you're buying at the same time as him. Bro, because it's going to be crazy. So, do you know what? Then after, We're getting Neymar and you. After Newcastle. I put the phone down, after I put the phone down, I'm gonna let, he's going to get another phone call. And he, I pick up the phone. One more, one more, one last one. Yeah. It's that Alex. It's <laughs> <laughs> Alex. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's <laughs> Bro, if you say, listen. We're gonna need the extra. Gonna, yeah, the extra. it's uh, Alex. No, that's when you, again, you have extra. to play the, bro, that's like the, um, you know when you, like with the shine, the Pokemon shiny? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Sir Alex calls, and the English players, they respect that phone call. They do. You're telling me they do. Sir Alex, he's Scottish. No, but <laughs> it's Sir Alex calls you, bro. Yeah, no, any player around the world respects that. But listen, look. That's the last, that's how look, we Kane, get Kane line. for me has got to be the number Sadix. one priority. I know everyone's saying, uh, no, not, actually not everyone, that's, uh, a lot of you guys at home have said 
No, Absolutely you know, not. there's no sell-on value and he's old and this, that and the other. I don't get it. He's going to guarantee us absolute goals. goals. We have to make him priority number difference. one. He could be the difference. Yeah. But, he will hate us, not make us hate but, our team the way but, we hate them. Man. But, but, we have to talk, man. Let's go. Let's talk about, like, where we're at right now. Because yep. we're in a peak situation, man. Which shouldn't be this peak. Mm-hmm. Even, even still now, if someone offered you at the beginning of the season, you can have a game in hand and be a point ahead. I rip your hands off. Exactly. And I hate saying that one because it's like, you're basically trying to forget all the things to make yourself feel better. Say, but if I offered you this, would you do it? Yeah. But we have to do don't it. We have blame, to do it. <laughs> don't blame someone up in the big We go big and rich to pro. But listen, we could be mudded. Listen, let's get back to it. Yeah. Just top right, four So let, let's, let's, let's break it down. And there's, there's, sorry. <laughs> hey, Fever. Yeah. So let's break it down where we are, yeah? Mm. Top four, mm. peak. At the moment, Man City, are trying to win the treble. So we're struggling to get into the top four. They're a few games away from it. Now, this is why. It's t- tonight is Hala Madrid. Bloody yeah? Hell. Tonight is Hala Madrid. For sure, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone watching, all Man United fans, Hala Madrid. Because what we got a situation is we have to stop Man City mm. from winning the um, treble. The only issue that I have is those players, yeah, those players that... Especially after scraping through the top four. Those do. players that made West Ham look like um, it's do or die. West Ham, that didn't... That goal line did not reflect what happened in that game. We got moved to by West Ham. Yeah, people were trying to tell me that, no, nah, it was a great defensive performance and this, that and the other. No, they were rubbish in front of goal. West Ham, we, we were terrible. We were bad. You know that time when it said, just score. You know, just remember we got to that point when it's like, go on, do whatever you want to do because we allowed them in. We're allowing them to get crosses in. We're waiting for that moment. And that De Gea moment, bro, there's so many issues in this team. And I'm not going to pinpoint De Gea, but De Gea's an issue. Sancho's an issue. Ericsson's an issue for me. Yeah, um, who else is an issue? Um, Bruno as a leader in these moments when you need Bruno to step up is an issue for me. Martial the fact that no issue. one passes is an issue. Martial being that way he is, missing in the, the chances that he misses is an issue. The fact that we, obviously it's the first season, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give more lenience to Anthony, right? And saying, you know what, no, Anthony, um, but I said, you haven't made the right hand side yours. Yeah, he's an issue. It's not, you haven't made it. The yours. whole front line, all the forward players are an issue right How now. How do we create issues in this? We were brilliant at some stage of the season. We were creating chances, 30 chances a game. Where are they gone? Well, I'll tell you how, and this is where it's, it's not nice to hear it like this, but this is the truth. We wasn't brilliant. We almost creating that chances. We wasn't brilliant. Look at the amount of goals that have been scored and who they've been scored by, and then look at the next person in line. Bruno. Right, and with like six in the Prem, something like that. And Rashford's way ahead. Mm-hmm. What will happened is, is Rashford was carrying us with his goals. Yeah. Because he was. Yeah. I'm not, I know we're on to him now with his playing style and stuff like that. But take his goals away this season. Jesus. Sancho, he's come back and he's got like five. I can't believe he's even got five this season. He's been missing the whole season. He's been poor. Martial's been missing the whole season. Poor. Anthony's got like five, you know. So the next person after Rashi is not even anywhere near double figures. So where you're saying and we've Bruno been, on nine or yeah, we? but he's on he's on double figures like for the whole season. I mean like Prem, but but anyway, he's okay. He's like the closest thing, right? And he's he's the number ten. And let's face it, Bruno's played in a six. We're Bruno's sure played on the, on the right. Bruno's played on the left. He's been everywhere. He hasn't I even been it. in his actual position the whole time. Exactly. So that's I another thing. So so where you're saying we were brilliant, KG. You know what? We have to smell the coffee. Not saying we haven't made progress. Let's have a real comf- uncomfortable talk here. Well, no, not uncomfortable. Let's just have a real talk of what it really is versus what it really isn't. We have made improvements. We have got better. Yeah. We have got a great manager. Yeah. We have got a decent approach player. Like, I think we have got like, Listen, we've we got patterns of play. Up Hold everything, yeah. We've got, I'm not saying that. We've got patterns of play that we, we can tell what we want to do because that's an, that's an ideology of the manager of what he wants to do. In, you know, wan going in there, but ideally you don't want it to be a player like him. You want it to be a player who's actually really good on the ball as a right back. Mm-hmm. Look what Trent's doing. Like he inverts he's now. He's changed and, and it, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but he's, yeah, but when he don't have the ball, he's a right back. And when he yeah. does, he's going in there and playing far red centre mid. Yeah. I'm not saying like, we need wan to be that, but I'm saying 
the type of player that you'd want as that inversion, where you, you're talking about ripping it up and starting again, yeah. we need to get better quality. Yeah. So you can see what we were trying to do. So, right, we, 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 when we were scoring goals at our best, Rashi is just on a madness. He's on a madness. Let's be honest, he's on a madness. What was our team when we was at our best? What was our, what's, our, what's been our best team when we're like on fire? Because I'm trying to understand. Well, Mar- you can't count Martial because he hasn't been there all year. Has he? He hasn't been there. Okay. Obviously, we, we tried to do the whole thing of when he plays, that's our best front three, but he hasn't been there. So really, it's been a makeshift of uh, it's Sancho when he's, when he's, when he's tried Sancho to come in, because he's, he's, he's missed the... He's made, yeah, but on the left-hand side... It's been Ganacho. It's been Ganacho. Sorry, yeah, but he didn't start all the time. It's in and out. No, but so I'm saying when we were... It's like, Rashford and Anthony are the two mainstays with Bruno and ten. And then Ganacho, sometimes Sancho, sometimes Bruno on one side. And Vekos was playing up front loads of games. We've had to, we've never had a settled front three, exactly. maybe. But what I'm saying is though, then you look at build-up play and controlling games. Not there, midfield crap. But how is it crap with Ericsson, Bru- I'll tell you Ericsson why. and Casemiro? I'll tell you why, because we need more technical players. Ericsson, Ericsson and Martinez. We're Ericsson, Martinez. Eri- yeah, we are. Ericsson and Martinez are probably the only technical player. You could put Lindelof as a technical player, he's good with the ball at his feet. Yeah. Luke Shaw's quite, quite comfortable, but, but like as a technical do, player... We're missing Martinez. Yeah, of course. As a technical player, we've, we've got two. Yeah. Who can keep the ball, manipulate the ball well. Casemiro is actually being asked to do more on the ball, which we don't want that. You don't want Casemiro starting attacks and no, being No, but his guy. game is, and this is why we have to get this right. I think Man United, like, and that's all, sometimes we can over, not like over analyze, but we can look at this thing totally wrong, right? What Martinez was, because you're saying, what's missing? Ganacho's missing, absolutely. Mm. But what Martinez did before for us is he'd pick up the ball and those spray passes into yeah. midfield. We've lost, it's no, like we spray, lost them, just short, them short, short ones yeah, all through yeah. the lines, breaking the lines. We've lost the midfielder yeah. almost, and in a defender as well, because he, he was the one. You look at certain passes that was happening, and it was him. He'd be like, right, who did that? Was that him mm. or Casemiro? It was like, oh, no, it's Martinez. Now, we don't have that. I know Luke Schultz tried that one. And then on the other side as well, in the Ganacho position, when it's not working for Rashford or we need something else off the bench, there's no real injection. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, and while Rashford is offering something in the striking position, there's, it's, it's, it's effort that I think is a big issue. I think the effort is dipped and I think the team is trying to force the Weghorst issue as well. I think the team um, saying, put in Weghorst as your number 10, while it worked in a Europa League game, or was it worked once or something, or was it in the league? We done it against Barcelona. Leeds, against Leeds or something. Yeah, we tried it. Games. That Weghorst thing, we tried it, we stumbled on it and it worked for us a little second, but Bruno has to play there. If the wingers are back, there's no reason for Weghorst to be there. I want Bruno to be as close to the goal as possible and really dominating games. Yeah, because and now the- we can put Bruno there and now we can have Rashford up front and Ganacho on the left. Have to do it. Or if you need to start Martial, then... Because you know, obviously, you only got a first team. with Ganacho as well, let's be honest, he's better off the bench. Let's not, let's not like, because he's been out for a while and we've really needed like a, a difference maker. Let's not forget that's what he is, a difference maker off the bench. When he started, he's really struggled. Just because he's got a new deal, that doesn't mean that like all of a sudden he should start no, the game. Games we still have to be patient started. with him. You have to be patient. He's not. Yeah. But there's games but that he's, been, he's, but he's, he's done his best work. He's, he's done his best work from the bench. But there's games that he can. I, I hear what you're saying. So I'm saying. So but we I can't think, just think because we got him back now, start him all the games and play Rashford up front. It'll be fine. Like Ganacho still has to. He's a real young he'll be kid. Better than he'll be better than Sancho. Yeah. Right now you've got to give him a go. You've got to give him a go. You've got to give him a go. But he still needs to come into it slowly. It's like it's mad because again because we've got serious number nine issues. Serious. It's serious number nine issues, and you kind of see the deficiencies of of uh, Rashford when it's going bad. It's not working, and this that's the p- times when you say you know Rashford, do that nonsense out on the left hand side, because then after I leave, if it's getting bad, do we've lost that? We used, we're a team that actually traditionally attack on the left hand side, but now the left hand side is is void. Get, um, Shaw's no longer there. Yeah, Malassia can't, can't help out like yeah. in the, on the left hand side. And then Rashi, who operates on the left hand side, is now the striker. Yeah, but also, so you know, even no when he's been on the left, he's moving mad though. But it's, it's easier Brighton, to have him he's out started there. On the left. But it's easier to have him out there when is there's no. Though? No, because who's in the I'd middle? I'd argue it's probably easier to have him up front. No. Because if you think about it, when you're coming from the wide positions, 
in terms of helping out your fullback, you're not doing your job properly. Teams get out a lot. Mm-hmm. When you go press in the wrong area from there, teams get out a lot. And also, he when he's not combining with players, like it's a big issue for us, bro. That's what I'm saying. But his it's relationship, a big issue like, for but us. With now, look I prefer him up front, out of the way. way. Up front is the most out of the way you can be. No, nah, because Obviously when it goes wrong, wrong but when it goes wrong, the issue left wing you have to work so really hard, you know. Yeah, he can, he can work though. He can work. He can work. When it goes wrong, my thing is with United is obviously because there's no number nine, and it's like you're asking Rashford to do a lot because after Rashford, no one else is good enough in terms of in that nine position. Martial hasn't given us nothing to write home about. Martial's in front of goal and he missed it. That, that, that everyone tells me that in front of goal is where give him a chance. He's gonna march yeah, out. Conversion back. rate's high. It has been, conversion, but, but then recently. we saw the chances that. He and ten hours left him on the bench. A couple of games. So I mean, like it's, it's been. It's not been like oh, I'm still managing that fitness thing. He's back in his fit. He's back, he's in, back, his he's he's back not, in his fit. And he's not playing, and it's like mm. it's it's mad because we're trying to. It's almost like our career mode where we're trying to find the perfect scenario that fits in all these other players. But it's now it's like you go say, well, do we have to go back to Sabitzer? Do we have to like how do we shake it up because? I know where Kors ain't the answer, but even the bench, off the bench is not good enough from how Facundo's dropped. Facundo was in his side, but then maybe well, he's not training hard enough. Ten Hag's Ten Hark, not going to go to anything untried or tested in these four games. They're too big. He won't do it. He won't do it. So what are you Which doing? leads us on to the next question. How would you approach, let's just do it game by game. Obviously, let's, I'm not saying who would you start against Chelsea. Let's just do it by this game what's coming up. We've got okay. goals. Do you just try and get back to basics and just go with what that strongest team is, which is... Is it, is, is, it? Is, it, is it for you, just play Martial up front, try and get a tune out of Rashi on the left and Anthony on the right? Would you start James Sancho against Wolves? Put Rashford no. up front, keep Martial on the bench? He ain't going to start. I'm My game. man's had no minutes, so he ain't starting. Um, um, Ganacho, he ain't Ganacho, starting. But what I want to say, this is what I would like. What right. would you do for Wolves? Wolves? Hmm. We I'm have going, to win. We have to win. I'm going um, Rashi, centre forward. I'm getting Ganacho, I'm getting Anthony. He's starting him with no minutes, but he ain't I'm kicked a ball to, in months. Bro. I take him off. I take him off and say that I can bring on Sancho after. But intensity is at least going to be direct. There's one thing that he's just going to run at the man. If there's nothing happening, I've got Malassia. I've got Malassia giving me nothing on the left hand side. I had to have something going on there. Just with some balance. I can't see that, KG. But then this is that. this is the team that I'm getting with, though. Go yeah, so I'm getting Rashford, um, Ganacho. I know this is what I would like. I don't think it's going to happen. Mm. Ganacho, I'm going to go Bruno, Anthony. Yeah. I'm getting Sabitza and Casemiro. I'm getting Luke Shaw, um, Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Delo, Aaron Wambasaka, David De Gea. I'm going to bring Sabitza. And for me, sabitza has got four games. He's got four games to prove. Because if you can't play ahead of, if you, Ericsson can only play 60 minutes. If you're saying you can't be more valuable than Ericsson, then what are you doing? I can't commit to you and keep you at the team. You've got a guy that, yes, Ericsson can control Doesn't games. Doesn't want deeper though. I'm just saying that, like, no, then Bruno can play in that, in that, um, you said you want Bruno in his proper position I would like him, but I, I just want Bruno operating in the middle. I don't want him out wide, yeah, is what I'm yeah. saying. So if Bruno, we've seen Bruno play a bit deep and it worked. Mm. So if you say, Ross, Sabitza, because we can get shots goals, off. Yeah. There you go. So Sabitza's going to shoot and stuff. We tried it once in that. It's sad because it's like we got knocked out of the Europa and then we forgot that Sabitza could get us those goals. Mm. Yeah, because like the first half against Seville, there you like go. Sevilla, it, it was good. It was good. So now he's just saying, you know, go back to that. Bruno play next to Casemiro. Bruno had to be more responsible. Yeah, and then after you play Mr. Sabitza in this position, and I know, like, listen, it's a toss-up. If you say Sancho, I don't think he's giving me enough. Honestly, he's not giving me enough. Even I, if I could get rid of both wingers, yeah, even say, Anthony, I'm not seeing enough from you. You have to come up by. I don't have that luxury. Ganacho has to, for me. What t- do you talk to me? What you think it's actually going to be? What I think it's going to be, I think he'll go De Gea, Wan-Bissaka, Lindelof, Shaw, Dallow. Then I think he'll play a midfield of Fred and Casemiro with Bruno in the 10. Why Fred? I think he just go for the legs and the energy and just, I think he'll just go for that steal. You don't think Sabitza can give us the energy that more... more you, no, but you're saying what I think he's oh, yeah, going to yeah, do. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I just think Ten Hag will do that. I think he'll, I think he'll do that. Um, if he doesn't do that, I think it'll be Ericsson again. At home, we're going to dominate the ball. Um, again, see how it goes. Ruben and Yeah, but they're not going to have the ball more than us. 
So I don't think they will do that. The Wolves don't play like that. Um, and up front, I think he, I think he goes Rashford on the left, Marshall up front, and Antonio. you don't think he goes workhorse. You don't no. think he does the workhorse one? No, I don't think he does the workhorse one. Do you think he was upset with workhorse acting like that? Well, he says he likes his players to want to. Yeah. Do you think he took it to like acting like what? Workhorse came off. He didn't really give him. That oh line. right, nah, he won't. Nah. You won't care. Nah, he's relied on them a lot of times. Nah, but I don't think he starts this game. Not at home. Remember on the front foot. We should be on the front foot. This um, is a must. This is. If the... we don't, I'm going to say this. I've. If we don't win this, I think that's top four gone. Because not because mathematically the games are done because they're not. There's three more which would have to yeah. win in a row. But I think psychologically what that would do to us with not winning that game. I can't. We wouldn't be able to go and win three on the bounce. What all it takes though is a little a one win of the here. against Chelsea. All yeah. it takes is a win here. If you can and win we can beat Bournemouth on the road. We can. Yeah, yeah. All I, it takes I, is I a see, win here. Bournemouth. I'm on not the confident road. of it because of how bad we've been in my first But so you're win right. Here, you're right. Bournemouth on the road. And then all Man of a sudden you're going week. Then off. you're going a week off. Then you're going right. Beat Chelsea at home for the Champions League. Fulham at home is a dead rubber. Yeah. Beat Chelsea at home for the Champions League. Can we set that up? Because you're talking about. Big games left of the season. Now they're all. We've got four cup finals mm-hmm. and an actual cup final. So we've mm-hmm. got five cup yeah. finals that are left. But in terms of creating that atmosphere and that big pressure moment, I want us to set up Chelsea at home for the top four. So just mash them up. Like just, mm-hmm. we've been really good at home, but but there are two incredibly difficult games. Not necessarily on paper, but two incredibly different games in terms of the pressure. And all everything I'm worried about is not to do with ability, it's not to do with the progress that we've made during the season, it's to do with pressure and mentality. I'm very, very concerned that the pressure is getting to there will be favors And fatigue, from, mental fatigue, physical from, fatigue. There will be favours from other sides. Like Newcastle are still not safe. I know they. No, they, they can. Yeah, it's yeah. Newcastle got Liverpool some, are, a tight are run. chasing both of us. New, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So at the moment, the top four is open right now. Of course it is. Newcastle is still looking over their shoulder, saying. Third and fourth hell. is up for grabs. You don't Third know who's going to get it. Absolutely. So it's you like the, it. But then the only thing is that's different is I feel like Man United have hit their blip. Like a lot of teams have a blip I in the season. So. I feel like Man United have had uh, hit their blip. It's a double whammy back to like, back, like. Yeah, it's a bad one. This is the like this is the real blip for Man United, and it's, it's it's annoying because this blip is happening at the business end. You know, you can say that Arsenal went through a horrible blip from with the West Ham, Southampton, and thingy. Those mm-hmm. are bad results, yeah. right? You know, and it's like the we we just got the, the, it's the fragility for me that hurts, and that's why Man United have to score first. Yes, Man, when Man United yeah. score first, it says we're a different side. We play different. We weren't against when, Spurs. True, true. No, but then after, like, it's away again, game. it's an away At game. At home, if we score first, you'd Man United fancy. score first, it, like, we just play better. There's a confidence, there's a belief, there's an understanding. And then we do need to, we do have mentality issues. That's the, that's key. We've got mentality issues, but if Man United score first, I think we approach the game different. It was even at, like, look what happened at the end of that game against um, West Ham. In the last eight minutes... Man United decided to wake up and play football. And he said, lads, where's this been? So that means you have the ability, but mentally there's a block. There's a mental block in terms of, and that's why you talk about mentality in the side. And if you give away opportunity, you have to say, you know what? Something can be done here. Something can be done in these moments. You can't let the head drop. Like, for perfect example, when we was playing FIFA, yeah? And I know it's silly, but like we had to, there's, you're good at fever, bro, right? But then you like it, when your head drops. Yeah, your mentality's out. You're gone. You're gone. You can't play. You, then you're doing things. They say, mm. well, "What do you?" I've seen you clip. I've seen you chip, man, and I've I've seen you beat people. Like, yeah. so what's going on? But then your head's gone. So yeah. now so you can't play things that you used to do, you're not doing. You, you should tell yourself, "Listen, as Man United, the chance is gonna come." Like when Lindelof's on the floor doing a madness, that's bad body language. Because the chance, you don't yeah. have to say to yourself, Man City leak a goal. Even us at home are watching saying, they'll come back. They'll come back straight instantly. And that's what Man yeah. United need to feel like, if there's a setback in a game, it's not the end of the world. But, but because we've taken we licks against because like we Sevilla, don't have, because we And this is where it comes down to the calibre and quality of players, because the elite players have that. Do you know what I mean? When you're looking at David De Gea, He's just down like this. He's just like that. 
Mm -hmm. And Lindelof just went down to his knees and was like, couldn't believe it like that. Wow, that, that's because Lindelof's looking at David going, I know you're not that guy as well. You're going to be shaky after this. And also, I can't believe you've done that. You can't, yeah. We, that should never have gone in. I can't believe you've let that in. Yeah. It's, it, it, it festers. It's, it festers. It and festers. It, and it's bad. Rashi doing the running thing that he does, but he's going to get frustrated. Martial, he's just going to... Bruno. He's going to be Martial. Bruno's then going to start doing a madness. 70, 80 yards. 80 yards Doing yard shots. crazy stuff. Anthony's working hard, but he's got the screw face on. Like, it festers through the team. And, Casemiro and then that's off the back it. of, and again, yeah, exactly. And that's off the back of conceding in the last minute, in the 99th minute, to Brighton. So you're already down from that. You know, you know the games are running out. Mm. Pressure, bus, pipe. But then, and this is why, just to come back, and it's not I told you so, mm. but it's like, I, I told you, you downplayed what Martinez is in this team. Mm. And like it or not, he made them better. Oh, They're like, of course, he, like, of course. No, but not only that, I'm talking about does. in terms of enjoying defending. Mm. Martinez takes pride from defending. You saw, like, bro, we haven't seen a high five yet in time. Mm. And that's not a mistake. That's not like De Gea enjoying what he's doing but as well. the last two games we lost, okay, G, be honest, have we defended bad? No, but I'm talking about, no, it's not about defending it's more, I think it's more I'm talking the ball about and the, starting the attacks and no, being proactive. I'm with you, but that remember, that is what we're missing. teams are built off great defence anyway, right? And there was a time where you say, well, we, even if I know we're going to have a shutout, well. I know we're going to have a shutout, we'll at least score one opportunity. That's what we was doing before, because our golden runs has been bad mm. this season. So it's not like we're smoking teams, but we were, de as, a we squad, don't score a lot of goals, yeah. as a squad, defensively sound, we can win 1-0. We can get the clean sheet because that's why my man's got a clean sheet bonus. I'm not clean sheet bonus, but mm. he's about to potentially win the Golden Glove, right? This is the diff this is this is where it starts, and I think that in guys enjoying defending, we saw Delo, we saw all these players yeah. enjoying their work. And taking back. out the two key components from that, you know there I mean? you go. And, and now, Luke now Shaw at left back, which Luke Shaw not being at left back as good as he's been doing at centre back, yeah. Like him not being at left back is a big problem. It's a big problem. It's, it's a, a problem. it's a big issue, and it's like you you don't want to say bring Maguire back in. No, but I said this to Owen. I said, would you, would you bring for balance of play? Would you bring Maguire back in at left centre back and have Lindelof on the right so that Luke Shaw can go back to left and have the relationship with Rashi? It just gives me the problem, but I have a new problem. Exactly, I agree. I have a new problem because that. I want to you play high up the pitch. And Ten Hag thinks the same. I have a new issue. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So that, like, that's you're the robbing thing. Peter to pay Paul, I'm as they say. I'm robbing Peter yeah. to pay Paul because I, I, I said problem. Luke Shaw, the Man United traditionally for the last, even in the Oli era, left hand side specialist. Mm. We belong. We play yeah. through the left hand side because yeah. there's no answer to the right. Yeah. Now the left hand side is non-existent, bro. Yeah. We have no, we don't have no, we don't even have to break teams. Have you noticed? We're getting to the um, opponent's box and it just stops and it just, we just shoot wild. Yeah, like, we don't not, know, we up. actually don't know what to do. And if, and look, that, this on David De Gea, he needs to be flawless for the rest of the season. We can't have any more mistakes. We can't. There'll be another one. I know. But I'm just saying, like, and that's what scares now me. Now the end of the season, yeah. now there'll be one. There's going to be, be one mad pass or, you know, and it, maybe it might not lead to a goal, maybe it will, but he's going to do it again. And, and the thing is, is that we, like Marcel said, actually, testament to him, like he said in the full view, we still need him. Of course. We need, like, right now, like, we, we, we need, yeah, we need all of them to really pull it together. Because just to, before we wrap up, and I don't want to entertain it too much, but just about the implications of it, of not getting top four, not getting top four, not sure how much money we got to spend, the owners, how much can that set us back if we don't get the top four from this position? No, you know what? Like, we can talk about that at the end of the season. If but we don't then get it. We can talk about that at the end of the season if we don't get it. But we have to be, we, we have to remember the fans we were at the beginning of the season as well. Mm. Like, that's the part of, like, I'm not pragmatic at all. Yeah, no. I'm not, I'm not, like, but I have to like, in, on reflection, yeah, of what this thing is. And if we look at teams like, cause we have to use like, um, teams like the Arsenal's of this world as a prototype Benchmark. to now to say, yeah. no, but to look at it and say, okay, how did it look under Arteta? What was Arteta's first couple of seasons like? That's what I'm saying about I mean, the three years. You have to look at our team in another two your, years and go, can't recognise process. It. You have to give your team, because yeah. we are still in the process. The only thing that will happen is we are allowed to dream because the team started showing good form. So we thought, well, more is possible. 
now we're getting back to with the injuries and the different things that we've had to face the setbacks of the season we have to look at it and if if man united again it's it's not i don't want to say this so i'm going to wait till the end of the season mm. but let's say it ends the season and man united finish um fifth yeah with a trophy and stuff it's not what we wanted but then in in the beginning when we we're talking about where do you predict united finishing that's what people want people were saying that's a good season in the beginning of the season i know things change in the thingy but we have to be honest in the beginning of the thingy it, no one no man i said i said, said fifth with a style of play that's it. I didn't, I didn't even say trophy. I said fifth exactly. of the style of play. No one was saying, but don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm trying to but limit. I don't think. I don't want. I, I need us to finish in the top yeah. four because it's there now. I'm going to be honest, KG. The only reason I'm going to disagree is because of this. It changed. It and when, changed. And when it changes, you get a new objective. You can't go back to the original yeah, objective. Yeah, the you don't get to go. Oh, we wanted to do this. No, when it got to January, you wanted the fucking title, mate. Absolutely. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you were yeah. going. Well, why are, if City aren't in, in it and they're three points behind the thing, we're only three, four points behind City. We're in the title race. Absolutely. So now, and I'm not saying everyone said that, but I'm just saying from being in that position with top four as secure oh. as it as it has been at different points, we don't get to go. No, back this now is a monumental. Say, no, it would be interested. disgusting is, if we don't it, get no, a top four. No, it would be four. a monumental. Ball, I wouldn't let them off. I would, no, I, but what could you do? I'll be yeah. I'll just as look a fan, forward. No, I'll just look forward. Saying. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even go back and go. Well, you know what? I would have taken that before. I would be unable to do that. I'll tell you that for free. I hear that, but I'm then, then you know guess why? What? Because it affects. But guess what? It affects our summer and the caliber player we can buy, bro. But guess what? Even if you're unable, come next season, you're at Old Trafford. It's that high? What do you call it on the car? You're doing a road trip, bro. So yeah, I'm saying if you're unable, supporting. that's what I'm saying. What so it's like I'm, I'm saying that even if no, no, however you, feel, I'm saying I won't accept it. I know you, but I won't fall back on it. I'm saying I'm saying if we don't get the top four, job. I'm not falling back on. I, technically, you're right, yeah, because I never predicted it. But I changed my prediction. I get so it. So when I changed my prediction, that's that's the new benchmark. That's the new bit. No, that's it, bro. As I said, so we're just to let you know that we're both on the same side in terms of if Man United don't get top four, it's a monumental. Yeah, bottle I ain't job. even talking about what I thought before. If Man United don't get top four, it's a monumental bottle job. But I'm saying to you, you're gonna get, you will do, because it's just what fans do. You'll get to one point where you calm down yeah. and you want to yeah, call yeah, it. Yeah, I agree and with you're that. gonna be like, all right, let's go again. Yeah. That's I, I would always do that. say and you're gonna say we did well, it last year. then you're gonna say, What progress did we make? You say, Well, yeah. there's been progress and we have, made. Listen, the That's progress has saying. been made. We got, yeah, so I'm have, saying yeah, the journey that. that you're gonna go through is you're gonna have the anger and you're gonna say, Well, we bottled it, and it, all those things will be true. But then the fact of the matter is there's a point that you say, Well, this is true as well. Yeah, you say, Raw. Um, and I know you know no one wants to hear that. No one's like, and I don't want to say that right now. Yeah, no, but I'm saying right now, no. I'm still wholeheartedly focused on on what's next. We but we need four. we need to. This team still is in the still needs to develop, and he still need he needs more of his. He needs to trust. He needs Ten Hag needs to look to his bench and say, "You you you can come on." And if it means that we can't dine at the top table, let's just do smart business. Because yeah. Sider was offered for five sun. Brighton got him for. St- like, like ridic- five million, like five five million. million. Yeah, stupid. So that means those players exist. Mm. We just need to know where they are. Yeah, we, we need to get. We need. We need to do that. We need to do that, guys. Wolves is the big one. That is the one. Uh, honestly, prediction. Two. Um, two nil. Clean sheet. The hair is gonna fix it. The hair will be better. The hair will be better. Lord, please. Nervous, man. Really, really nice. What do you think? I think it'd be like Villa. I think it'd be like Villa. I think we're going to scrape 1 0. Villa, we should have scored more, to be fair. So I think it'll be, I think it'll be less like the Villa in terms of we, we made more and should have scored more. 2 0. I think we. Big performance from Man United. Mm. 2 0. Two, I have to start believing. And you know when you talk about. Bounce. You know you talk about the point if it goes wrong of when you have to start believing again and whatever. I have to do that now. You know, on on Friday or whatever it is, when you know when the preview goes out or whatever, and I'm driving in on Saturday, I'm driving up to Old Trafford, three pm. I have to get back in the mode. You have to get in the mode. I have to leave it all behind. Yeah, I have to stop any form of negativity. To, yeah, yeah, you have to. And do you know what? I think I'm ready to do it now. Go ahead. What day is it today? Tuesday. Yeah. Because we have to start looking forward. I, we have I, to. I, we got to get behind this team we can to get make to it. The end we, of the season. Have, we have to shout. Like, Old Trafford needs to be a foot. We got to shout them over this line because we are stumbling track over them. this line. No, we got. We are falling over the line. If we get over the line, it's incredible. It would be such a sigh of relief. So I'm gonna go back in my bag. I still think we'll narrowly win the game by one goal. Yeah. I'm gonna go one 2-1. nil. 
Or 2 1, it could be shaky. We yeah, can't have maybe a 1 0. One, but one, Man United haven't got those. I think it's going to be nervy. We haven't got this. Bro, we haven't got this for a 1 0. We haven't. I know. I'm telling you now. I know. We don't have that for a 1 0. Imagine, like, you're yeah, entering into the 82nd minute and all that kind of thing. It's 1 0 and stuff. No, 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 no. It gets scary times. I think that's what's going to happen, though. No. I think that's what's going to happen. I hope I'm wrong. I can't handle that. I can't see that. I know. I'm so nervous. No. Say, come on. Give me 2 1. I don't believe it, okay. In control, we score, even if they score. Like, I don't one. believe it, though. I'll give it to you. I'll give you a 2 1. 2 1. Give me 2 1. I'm saying 2 0. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Let us know if you think we'll get top four. What, let us know what you think about the Neymar situation um, and the Victor Osserman situation. Yeah, would you, would you have it? And everything that we've spoken about during today's show and your top four predictions. We are out of here, guys. Take care. I'm doing a match. I'm doing a hate along. <laughs> Hello, Madrid. Hate along. He's, uh, he's doing that. I'm uh, going to be on DR doing a hate along as well. Hello, my Peace. <laughs>